Let's learn how to fetch data in the Nexus app router. First things first, we need some actual data to work with. I'm going to introduce you to JSON Placeholder, a free fake API service that gives us mock data to play around with. If you head over to jsonplaceholder.typecode.com and check out their resources section, you will find a slash users endpoint. This gives us a JSON array of 10 users with different details. We're going to fetch this data and display each user's name, username, email, and phone number in our Next.js application. While Next.js really shines with data fetching in server components, which we will get to later, let's start with something you might be more familiar with, client-side data fetching. If you've done any data fetching in React before, you will feel right at home. Let's begin. In your app folder, create a new folder called users client and add a page.tsx file inside it. I chose the name users-client since we are handling user data in a client component, but feel free to name it as you see fit. The code we are about to write should look pretty familiar if you've worked with React before, so we'll move through it at a good pace. First, let's define our TypeScript type for the users. We'll keep it simple and just include the fields we care about. Type user contains ID, name, username, email, and phone number. For our component, we will call it users client. So export default function users client. We need three pieces of state within this component. Users to store the fetched users, loading to track if the users are being fetched, and error to store any error messages. Don't forget to import use state from React. Next, we will use use effect to fetch our users when the component mounts. Import use effect from React, and within the component, I'm going to paste the code for use effect. Inside our use effect hook, we've got an async function called fetch users that grabs our users' data from JSON placeholder API. This is the same URL we saw earlier jsonplaceholder.typeecode.com slash users. If something goes wrong with the response, we throw an error saying failed to fetch users and update our error state with either error.message or an unknown error occurred. If everything goes smoothly, we update our user's state with the data we received. Either way, we set loading to false when we are done. We call this function fetch users right away inside use effect when the component mounts. For the UI, we will handle each state appropriately. If you are still loading, we will show a loading message. If we hit an error, we will display that. And if everything works perfectly, we will map through our users and display them in a clean style list. User.name, user.username, their email and phone number. The Tailwind classes are primarily for styling, so I wouldn't worry too much about achieving this exact layout and UI. As you can see, this is pretty much standard React code with just one RSC architecture addition. Use client directive at the top to enable the use of hooks. In the browser, if you navigate to localhost 3000 slash users hyphen client, you should briefly see the loading text and then the list of users rendered nicely. We have the username, username, email, and phone number. We have the data for 10 different users. Here's the thing though, you should really only use client components for data fetching when you absolutely need to, like when you need real-time updates or when your data depends on client-side interactions that you can't predict on the server side. For everything else, the recommended way to fetch data is through server components, which we will cover next. Supporting the channel is free. Please like and subscribe, it helps a lot.